If you have questions, you can find answers at thereareanswers.com. Learn about this hope we find in Jesus. The Temptation Genesis chapter 3 begins with the serpent tempting Eve to eat the fruit from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. The serpent convinces Eve that by eating the fruit, she and Adam will become like God and have knowledge of good and evil. The Fall Eve eats the fruit and gives some to Adam, and both of them realize that they are naked. They hide from God and feel ashamed. When God confronts them, they blame each other and the serpent for their actions. The Consequences God punishes the serpent, Eve, and Adam for their disobedience. The serpent is cursed to crawl on its belly, Eve is cursed with pain and childbirth, and Adam is cursed with having to work the land to provide for his family. They are banished from the Garden of Eden and can no longer access the Tree of Life. The Prophesy The first proclamation of the Gospel in the Bible is found in Genesis chapter 3 verse 15. It contains a prophetic promise of the ultimate defeat of Satan and the redemption of mankind through the victory of Christ over sin and death. The Corruption In Genesis chapter 6, the sons of God saw that the daughters of men were beautiful and they took wives for themselves, whomever they chose. The wickedness of man was great in the earth, and every intent of his heart was evil continually. The Judgment to save humanity from total destruction God reserved for himself a man named Noah and his family, to save and to escape his judgment on evil. Noah was obedient to God and obeyed his instructions to build the ark that would protect him from the wrath to come, as we find now in Jesus. The Wrath In Genesis chapter 7, the great flood came upon the earth for forty days, the evil and corruption that terrorized the world was destroyed. In God's love he made a way of salvation for his people so that he could preserve humanity for his eternal blessings. The Nations In Genesis chapter 10, nations are descended from Noah, and these nations were divided on the earth after the flood. The whole earth had one language and one speech. They became powerful and desired to make a name for themselves, and once again man would neglect God. The Tower of Babel in Genesis chapter 11, God would bring confusion upon them and they no longer had one language. They would have to find unity in smaller groups and would be scattered over all the earth. Our eternal blessings and peace God gives are experienced when we are dependent on Him and not ourselves. The Disinheriting In Deuteronomy chapter 32 verses 8 to 9, it says God divided mankind according to the sons of God and kept for Himself the line of Jacob, who would descend from Abraham. The others would be ruled by the sons of God, but who were they? The sons of God. In Psalms 82, we see the sons of God are supernatural beings that were a part of God's counsel. He condemns them for their disobedient judgments and says they will die like men and fall like princes. Again, God would be neglected. The plan. In all of this, what seems to be chaos, God is establishing his redemptive plan through a people, a nation, and ultimately a person. His name is Jesus, and he will fulfill the very first promise that the serpent, evil, would be crushed. The Conclusion When everything seems to be going wrong and it doesn't seem like God is near, know that in all the chaos he has a plan. His love for you is greater than you can imagine and he will never leave you nor forsake you. If you have questions go to thereareanswers.com and learn about the Christian faith, and always remember, God loves you. Stay tuned for more videos as we journey through the Bible.